Salute. Welcome back to advanced.lightburly.com. Saturday's class. That's right, we got it right this weekend. You know, we've been having a little technical difficulties and we've been missing our Saturdays. But as promised, Saturday and Sundays will be the days for our online course. You'll get the email because the, the times may change up, but you'll get the emails in advance to let you know what time the class is popping off. In today's class, you know, usually we do our, uh, our push-ups and sit-ups, but we're going to forgo that for today to get some more talking about the, um, the technique of the system, working on making sure if our blocks are in the right place. But we have to get some type of work in, you know, to make the heart flutter, to make the heart pity pat. And right now what we have is our jump rope. Now, this is the jump rope with the counter. I suggest everybody get one of these. Hold on, let me start my counter over. So I know that I'm starting from zero. There we go. Can you see that? I don't know if you can see that. That's right, the zero. So also what we're gonna work on is jumping in our fight stance. So we're gonna use that white line back there to make sure the line is between your legs when you're jumping the rope. So let's go, let's get this work. Enough talking. Let's get to work. Right position, one foot over the line, one foot in the back of the line. Let's kick up some dust. Don't worry if you mess up, just start over. I still mess up myself. Let's go. Keeping that front foot in front of the line, keeping the back foot in the back of the line, behind the line, in your fight stance. Take it up to a hundred. Just hot. Do a little mess up, add 10 more on it. Take a break. See, we had 110. So, with this here, too, you can also switch leads. So, we're going to do the next hundred as a southpaw. Played out here. See that? That's 209. You gotta get them lungs working. See, right now, my lungs feel open. We're taking them, taking them deep breaths in there, baby. Deep breaths. At the end, what we're really going to work on is getting through 1 through 20 of the blocks with the fist closed. The fist never open. So I'm going to start from an orthodox stance. Lead skull and bones. Close 
Closed door. Closed door. Triangle tray. Don't beat your, don't go too hard with the closures and beat yourself over the head. Up tap. Rear skull and bones. Lead closed door. Book reading stands. Lead cover the bullet. Rear cover the bullet. Lead revolving door. Rear revolving door. Lead by. Rear by. Lead double guard. Rear double guard. Lead skull and bones. Rear skull and bones. The shield. Crown. Lead windmill. Rear windmill. We robbed the bank. Rear robbed the bank. Now we're gonna do it again one more time slowly, and then we're gonna put a little hot sauce on it. Matter of fact, I'm gonna switch to my for my Southpaw people. So that's right, Burley here to work with you on the on the on on your Orthodox side and your Southpaw. Let's get that Southpaw money. Lee skull and bones. Lee closed door. Rear closed door. Lead triangle tray, rear triangle tray, uptown, rear skull and bones, lead closed door, book reading, lead cover the bullet, rear cover the bullet, lead revolving door, rear revolving door, lead by, rear by, lead double guard, rear double guard, lead skull and bones, rear skull and bones, shield. Crown, Lee Windmill, Rear Windmill, Lee robbed the bank, Rear robbed the bank. All the while, we're doing this with our fists closed. We must get used to keeping them fists closed during combat. Now you say, you may say like, what if he starts grabbing me? You can still control, learn how to control with elbows, forearms, and still hit. You can still control and then when you got to grapple, of course, you open your hands. But if you plan on striking them in that grapple, learn to grapple with your hands closed to where you can bang. You ready to go. You ain't got to go from a grab into this nasty puncher. No. You move them, you take them. So you get used to having your hands and keeping your hands in the shooter's position. See, even right here, more than just this, because you know, you know, we, we we learn from this, but when it's fight time, them, them hands, they point right at you. They on you. You do your your 52 from there, from right here. Ha, 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 let's go. Let's go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on. Let's get that money. Even if you mess up, it's all good. Just get back into it. Fist still closed. You have to get used to and relaxed in this position here. And even with this position here, you still got the wrist for holding. You still can use this part of the wrist right here for grabbing. It's like a hook, you know. Since your hands is in this position, you got like this hook-like quality to move stuff out the way and still come with your punch. You want to be ready to punch. You don't want to have to have to lower the bullet into the chamber. You already want to be chambered up. Alrighty, so let's look at our punches. Now the first punch we talking about is the lead, um, is the jab. First punch we talking about is, is our jab. With the hands like this. Now we're going from this to this. This is where this punch is, is going to change. You're no longer pointing to the sky. You're pointing at your opponent. So, jab from the side. You know, even when you're not shooting the chin down, you want to make sure that your jab can cover some of your face and get right back quick to, to, to uh, protect the body. All right, let's look at the straight right with the hands pointed. 